Dawn of the Planet of the Apes tells the story of Caesar who leads the apes against the threat of the humans that have survived a catastrophic virus. And I have to say that while the film certainly presents several themes and ideas, ultimately it is a fantastic film. At its core, the film is really about a conflict between various different opposing ideologies because ultimately each and every character in this film is so beautifully fleshed out and you're really connected to each and every person on screen. But the fact of the matter is, while their motivations once again are beautifully presented to you and you understand exactly what each and every one of them are fighting for, you will ultimately be for some characters and against some characters and it's not necessarily wrong to cheer for any particular character or cheer against any character in this film, but ultimately the conflict is this clash of various different opposing beliefs, making it something so beautiful to witness on screen. And this presentation is possible because of the metaphorical representation of various different political systems. For example, we have Caesar, who's leading a more democratic system, if you will. He's all for the people, he promotes peace essentially, and feels that the humans and the apes can coexist as long as they do not try and threaten one another. Then you have Gary Oldman, who's a bit more confused. He creates a bit more chaos, if you will, and he's not as effective a leader as Caesar. And at the other end of things, you have Koba, who's a tidbit more of a dictator, and it's such an interesting clash to see all these opposing ideologies, all these opposing methods really making such an intriguing and fantastic aspect that I believe the film managed to execute so well. And it really gives us an insight into human nature and the misunderstood superiority that humans tend to possess. And the fact of the matter is, humans are certainly capable of peace, but as we see, not just through the humans, but through the apes as well, that ultimately that is not a part of who humans really are. And it's really Caesar who is portrayed so brilliantly by Andy Serkis, who's seen both sides of it. The fact of the matter is, he's seen both the negativity and the positivity of human nature and humanity in general. So he's really a sore thumb, if you will, when it comes to all of the apes, because the fact of the matter is, he wants apes and humans to coexist, but at the same time not to interact really bring out something incredibly interesting to witness on screen and the fact of the matter is he's so confident in everything he does and every single expression of his manages to portray so much more than is actually said or shown on screen. And I have to say that while the film certainly does have a few conveniences or essences of predictability, if you will, so as to in fact promote the overall film rather than the very story it's trying to tell, that kind of conflict exists, but at the same time, it manages to take several bold risks to really make this film incredibly unique, especially through the interaction that we see occurring between the apes, thereby making this film such a beautiful and satisfying experience. And what I loved about the film was that it didn't necessarily need to increase the size or the scale of it. While it does to a certain extent, it doesn't necessarily go global. Rather, it has this extremely small incident that it manages to continue through and through with through the course of this film and yet have such a larger transformation in terms of the characters and their various arcs through this film. And from a technical standpoint, of course, with regards to visual effects and even the musical score, the film certainly never fails to deliver. Ultimately, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is a film that amidst everything it's trying to say and do, it manages to take you on an emotional journey thereby making this such an incredibly satisfying experience wherein basking in both its glory and in fact its uniqueness is something certainly worth experiencing. I'm going to give Dawn of the Planet of the Apes a triple yes.